Hello, my name is Ruth, and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. This is Hello Channel. Hello, I'm Ruth Todd. Welcome to Hello Word Power. Today, we're learning words in English that begin with the letter G. Capital G, small g. In English, the G makes two different sounds. A hard G sounds like this. G, G. You try it. G. Yes, that's right. A soft G sounds like this. J, J. You try it. J. Yes, that's right. Are you ready to begin learning words in English that begin with the letter G? Let's start. Glory. Glory, glory. Now you try it. Glory. Again, glory. Yes, one more time. Glory. That's right. Glory has two meanings. Glory means great fame or honor. The military general basked in the glory of his victory. Glory also means splendor or Magnificence. The glory of the sunrise this morning was amazing. Say it again. Glory. That's right. Glove. 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 You say it. Glove. Yes, again. Glove. Right. Repeat one more time. Glove. Correct. Well done. A glove is a protective hand covering that has separate parts for each of the fingers and the thumb. I always wear gloves when I am working in my garden. Gloves, say it one more time. Yes, that's right, glove. Glue, glue, glue. You say it, glue. Again, glue. Mm -hmm. One more time, glue. Correct. Glue is a substance used to make one surface stick to another. Tanya made this card by gluing colored papers together. She uses glue whenever she makes a new craft. Say it again, glue. That's right. Nat. This word begins with a G but the G is silent. It is pronounced nat, nat. Say it with me, nat. Mm -hmm. Again, nat. Correct. A gnat is a tiny insect with wings. A gnat bites. The gnats ruined our family picnic. Say it again, nat. Correct. Gnaw. This word also has a silent G. It is pronounced gnaw. Gnaw. Now you say it. Gnaw. Mm -hmm. Again, gnaw. One more time. Gnaw. Correct. Gnaw means to keep biting or chewing on something. The dog likes to gnaw at his bone. Gnaw. Say it one more time. Yes, that's correct. Gnaw. Go. 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 Now you say it. Go. Yes. Say it again. Go. One more time. Go. Yes, that's right. Go means to move away from or move toward a place. John must go to school. Go also means to work properly. The broken scooter will not go. 
Go can mean to have a certain place. That picture should go on the kitchen wall. Go also means to be suitable. Pie and ice cream go very well together. Say it again, go. Correct. Goal. 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 Now you say it. Goal. Again, goal. One more time. Goal. That's right. Goal has several meanings. A goal is a frame with a net into which you aim a ball or a puck in sports, such as football, soccer, and hockey. Greta is running quickly toward the goal. When you score a goal in a game, you send a ball or a hockey puck into the net or through the goal. Chester just scored his second goal of the game. A goal has another meaning. It is something that you aim for. Chelsea has a goal to complete medical school and become a doctor. Goal. Say it one more time. Yes, that's right, goal. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hello. The job market is a competitive place. In today's economy, extra skills mean a better job for you. Speaking English is the skill you need for greater opportunity, more money, and a brighter future. Introducing Hello Channel, an exciting new television channel that teaches English as you watch TV. There's something for everyone, and the more you watch, the faster you'll learn. All you have to do is say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Goat. 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 Now you say it. Goat. Yes, again, goat. One more time. Goat. That's right. A goat is an animal with horns and a little beard on its chin. Many people enjoy cheese made from goat's milk. Say it again, goat. Correct. Gold. 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 You try it. Gold. Again, gold. Yes, one more time. Gold. Correct. Gold is a precious metal used in fine decoration, jewelry, and sometimes for money. Susan's gold necklace cost a lot of money. Gold. Say it again. That's right. Good. 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 You say it. Good. Mm -hmm. Again. Good. One more time. Good. That's right. Good has several meanings. Good means well-behaved. Danielle is a very good little girl. Good means of high quality. That is a good piece of furniture. Greedy. 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 Now you try it. Greedy. Again, greedy. One more time. Greedy. Yes, that's right. If you are greedy, you want more of something than you need or deserve. It was greedy of Pat to take three slices of the birthday cake. Greedy. Say it one more time. Yes, that's right. Greedy. Green. 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 You try it. Green. Yes, again. Green. One more time. Green. Yes, well done. Green has several meanings. Green is the color of grass or leaves. This lime is a lovely shade of green. Green also means not ripe, not ready to eat. Eating too many green peaches will make you feel sick. Green can mean 
having little experience at something. The new campers were very green compared to those who had been camping for years. Say it again, green. Correct. Greet. 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 Now you try it. Greet. Again, greet. One more time. Greet. Correct. Greet means to say something to a person when you meet him or her. Children should always be polite when they greet an adult. I like to greet you at my door. Say it again. Greet. Correct. Grief. 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 Now you say it. Grief. Mm -hmm. Again, grief. Correct. One more time. Grief. That's right. Well done. Grief is a feeling of great sadness. Helena's grief was very deep when her mother died. Say it again. Grief. Yes, that's right. Grill. 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 You say it. Grill. Again, grill. One more time. Grill. That's right. Grill has two meanings. A grill is a cooking device that's used outdoors. It heats or cooks food. I like my hamburgers to be cooked outside on a grill. Grill also means to cook food on a grill. We are going to grill our vegetables and steaks this evening for our dinner. Say it again. Grill. That's right. Grin. 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 You say it. Grin. Again. Grin. One more time. Grin. That's right. A grin is a large, cheerful smile. Ben's friend met him with a big grin on his face. Say it again. Grin. Yes, that's right. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Give your children a brighter future. Watch Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Grip, grip, grip. Now you try it, grip. Again, grip. Mm -hmm. One more time, grip. Correct. Grip means to hold something very tightly. Bethany will grip Tony's arm very tightly during the scary parts of the movie. You must hold the grip of your tennis racket just right. Say it again. Grip. That's correct. Groan. 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 You say it. Groan. Again. Groan. One more time. Groan. That's right. A groan is a long, low sound showing that you are in pain or that you are unhappy. Tina will groan out loud when the doctor pokes at her injured leg. Groan. Say it again. Groan. Correct. Grocery store. Grocery store. Grocery store. You say it. Grocery store. Again. Grocery store. One more time. Grocery store. That's right. Have you heard of a grocery store? A grocery store is a store that sells food and household goods. We are out of milk, eggs, and toilet paper. So I need to go to the grocery store and buy some things. Say it again. Grocery store. Correct. Grouchy. 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 Now you say it. Grouchy. Yes, again, grouchy. One more time, grouchy. 
That's right. Grouchy means in a very bad mood. Patricia is very grouchy when she does not get enough sleep. Grouchy, say it again. Yes, that's correct. Ground, ground, ground. You say it, ground. Mm -hmm. Again, ground. One more time, ground. Yes, ground means the surface of the earth. It is a long way from this high window all the way down to the ground. Say it again, ground. That's right, well done. Group, group, group. You try it, group. Mm -hmm. Again, group. One more time, group. That's right. Group has two meanings. Group means a number of things that go together or are similar in some way. Barbara prefers this group of paintings to the other one. Group also means to put things into sections, groups, or to make a group of things. Let's group these clothes according to color. Say it again, group. That's right. Grow, grow, grow. Now you say it, grow. Again, grow. One more time, grow. That's right. Grow means to increase in size, length, or amount. Little babies grow very quickly. Grow also means to plant something and look after it so that it lives and gets bigger. Shauna plans to grow tulips in her yard this year. Grow can also mean to become. His mother is worried because Simon continues to grow lazier. Say it again, grow. Correct. Grumble, grumble, grumble. You try it, grumble. Again, grumble. Yes, one more time, grumble. Yes, that's right. Grumble means to complain about something in a grouchy way. The children always grumble when they have to come inside and do their work. Say it again, grumble. Yes, that's correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. I learn English. You can learn also by watching Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Guard, guard, guard. Now you say it, guard. Again, guard. Yes, one more time, guard. Correct. Guard has several meanings. Guard means to protect a person or a place from attack. Two people always guard the mayor. A guard is also someone who protects or keeps watch over a person or place. The palace guards will be punished if they fall asleep. Guard also means an object that's placed near another object to provide protection. Eric always wears shin guards while playing soccer to help prevent injury. Say it again, guard. Yes, guard. Guess, guess, guess. You try it, guess. Again, guess. One more time, guess. That's right, well done. Guess means to give an answer that may be right, but that you are not sure of. I guess George will finish painting the fence today. Guess. Guest. 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 You say it. Guest. Again, guest. One more time. 
guest. That's right. Guest has two meanings. A guest is a person who has been invited to visit or stay in another person's home or town. We have an extra bedroom in our house for our guest to sleep in. A guest is also a person staying in a hotel, motel, or an inn. That hotel provides its guests with very good services. Guest. Say it one more time. Guest. That's right. Guide. 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 You say it. Guide. Again, guide. One more time. Guide. That's right. Guide has two meanings. Guide means to help someone, usually by showing the person around a place or by leading that person. We hired this man to guide us through the unfamiliar countryside. A guide is also a person who shows someone else around or leads them. The guide who gave us a tour of the museum was very knowledgeable and friendly. Guide. Say it again. Guide. Correct. Guilty. 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 Now your turn. Guilty. Again, guilty. Say it one more time. Guilty. That's right. Guilty has two meanings. Someone who is guilty has, in fact, committed a crime or done something wrong. The thief was guilty of stealing from three different stores. Now, if you feel guilty, then you feel bad because you have done something wrong or you have failed to do something. Rita feels guilty for breaking Janine's favorite toy. Guilty. Say it again. That's right. Guitar. 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 Now you say it. Guitar. Again, guitar. One more time. Guitar. Yes, that's right. A guitar is a musical instrument with strings that you strum or pluck. Michelle is a talented musician who plays the guitar and sings. Guitar. Say it one more time. Correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Learn English while you watch TV on Hello Channel. All I really needed to hear that day was what my dad told me. He said, you're never a winner if you lose your temper. Life's most important lessons are best learned with family. A message from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Gum, gum, gum. You try it, gum. Yes, again, gum. One more time, gum. Yes, that's correct. Gum has two meanings. Gum is a sweet substance used for chewing. Sadie says chewing mint-flavored gum makes her breath smell fresh. Your gums are the areas of firm pink flesh 
that are found around the base of your teeth. Brushing your teeth every day helps keep your gums healthy. Gum. Say it again. Gum. Yes, that's right. Gun. 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 Now you say it. Gun. Again. Gun. Yes, that's correct. A gun is a weapon that fires bullets through a long metal tube. The hunter has a new gun. Say it one more time. Gun. Correct. Gust. 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 You say it. Gust. Yes. Please repeat. Gust. One more time. Gust. That's right. A gust is a strong, sudden blast of wind. The gust of wind blew Carl's hat right off his head. Gust. Say it again. Gust. That's right. Guy. G-I. Guy. You try it. Guy. Say it one more time. Guy. That's right. Guy means a boy or a man. That guy over there seems very friendly. Guy. Say it one more time. Guy. That's right. Jim. 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 You try it. Jim. Yes, say it again. Jim. One more time. Jim. Yes, well done. Jim has two meanings. A gym is a large room or a building with special equipment for doing exercises and physical training. Brandon goes to the gym to lift weights three times a week. Gym can also mean a school class or a course in physical education. During gym class, the students play sports and run laps around the field. Say it again. Gym. Correct. Well done. Congratulations. You did very well. I hope you've learned a lot of new words in English. Join us next time for more Hello Word Power. See you then.